topic. In this session, I'm going to share what are all the roles and responsibilities as Oracle DBA. So those, these are all the roles and responsibilities. I will go uh, one by one. This will be useful. Those who are, uh, those who are uh, planning to learn Oracle DBA, first they need to learn uh, what are all the roles and responsibilities, then you can plan accordingly. Okay. First one is as a DBA, Oracle DBA, you have to know how to download, how to download Oracle database software and how to install. To download the software, what I can uh, related anything, you can download from the e-delivery. E-delivery Oracle site, e-delivery.oracle.com. Okay, e-delivery.oracle.com. So before uh, installation, you have to ask on which operating system you are planning this. According to that, that administrator, I mean, OS admins can prepare the instance and then they will share you the one operating system user. By using that, you can install. Okay, this is one role. Another one is users are schema management. Once you have created the database and uh, the database is up and running, then uh, you have to create the users, necessary users or schemas. And then uh, we have to provide the required privileges to these users to access the database. So that is one role. We have separate concept like how to manage the users and schemas in database. And third role is database design. If you are a senior, uh, as a DBA, senior DBA, you must know how to design better design, like in memory wise and also in storage wise and the, the flexibility and um, which operating system on which database, whether you can go with a multi-tenant or non-multi-tenant, depends upon the business needs. You have to design your database. Okay, this is role for like L3 or L4 kind of one, not for the L1 and L2. If they know that is good to uh, have that knowledge, but not uh, recommend, I mean, uh, it is not uh, they demanded L1, L2 guys. The third one is monitoring the database server's health. It means, you have the database is up and running. You have to monitor whether the service, all the services are up and running or not. The storage is sufficiently there or not. And all the functionalities, backups are working fine or not. These things we have to monitor on a regular basis. For this, we have some 10 kind of tools like OE, Oracle Enterprise Manager tool is there. Some shell scripts also we can, uh, in uh, script, main pro, main, we can develop some shell, shell scripts and we can, de uh, deploy on our servers. The scripts will share the reports through the mail uh, with uh, like all the basic health checks, table spaces, mount points, any blocking sessions is there. Everything we can monitor. If those who are not having this OEM tool, if OEM tool is there, then we can connect with the OEM and then we can monitor everything on the GUI screen. From here also, we can uh, schedule alerts. So that is easier way. Like if you have 100 plus databases, if you want to monitor one, one each and every one to log in and monitor, that will be a very difficult task. So if, the, if you are using any one of these tools, our shell script or OEM, these will, uh, once you schedule on servers, it will send an email alert or mobile notifications so that we can easily identify the health. That is one job or role as a DB. And this is important one, patching and maintaining all the databases, Oracle databases, patching nothing but as and when uh, we have any issues occurred on the databases, we, we used to like, if you are trying to fix up that issue, if you're trying to find that issue, you can fix it, that is fine. If not, if you are unable to fix that issue on the database server, you have uh, Oracle support, support.oracle.com. There you can uh, try to find out or figure out the issue if there also, if you're not able to find, you can raise an SR service request with Oracle support and they will provide you the certain kind of fixes. It could be a data fix or it could be a patch. And also every quarterly, every three months, Oracle is going to provide the security patches and uh, CPU patches, release update patches. And uh, if Oracle strongly recommended to download those patches and uh, apply on your N environments, start from the lower N environment, non-production to production. Okay, patching is nothing but uh, to fix a particular bug. Okay, it is nothing but they will provide you in a GIF, uh, GIF files.
we have a separate lesson how we can what is patch and how we can do that but better as a dba this is one of one role uh, one of the role uh, you have to know this and uh, next one is refresh our clone okay how we can do the cloning activities clone is nothing but identical copy of your production so this is one activity uh, in your uh, case like uh, if you are having one production clone means you have to copy complete production database information to another one this place another database both should be same uh, operating system in start both softwares will be same and the uh, database versions also should be same and then only you can copy the production data to non-production servers here you can test it uh, all the new functionalities any bugs happen and anything you can test it here to reduce the I mean, we should not test the patches or anything directly on the production first we need to test on the non-production then only we need to do the production for that we require one environment to do the patches or any testing for that only we are doing this clone okay clone is nothing but identical copy of your production this is also a huge topic we will uh, we have a separate topics storage management okay you have a database you have users you have like you how to apply the patches and all you know and you you are well uh, aware of the cloning activities then you must also aware of the storage management like on your database daily data is dumping like users are writing and fetching their dml operations are happening if it is filled up suddenly without uh, having a proper plan if you don't have any storage management plan if database is filled up then your uh, database will be down if you don't have any sufficient storage to uh, store it so for that, to avoid the such kind of issues, we have a storage management plan. As in when we are going to hit all any table space, it is crossing 85%. We have as a DB, you should monitor this, whether it is crossed 85% or not. Then if it is crossed, you can request or add extra space to this table spaces. So in this way, we can avoid the downs, downtime, avoid the business losses and the, in this way, we can maintain the storage. This is also one topic we will learn clearly as a Oracle DB training. And uh, Oracle schema object migration, nothing but migration activities like some developments happen in this non-production, uh, some new functionalities and code has been developed. Uh, the developers or other uh, application team doesn't have the production access. They will give you the scripts or uh, SQLs, whichever they, they, they developed. And as a DBA, you should deploy these things in production. While you are deploying, you, you must review all this code, any delete or update or any other uh, unex unaccepted code is there or not, that uh, as a DBA, you should uh, review and then you can deploy. So that we call it as a migration activities, objects migration. It is not database migration. Okay, And then backup and recovery. This is one topic and it is important also. So how we are going to perform the backups? What is the importance of this backup? And if any failures happen, how you can recover, restore and recover? That is also one activity. That is also one uh, role as a DBA we must aware. And also you have to implement the disaster recovery. DR means disaster recovery. We need to set up how you must aware like how uh, we can enable this DR on our existing production. And also we have a failover switch over activities. What uh, is the exactly DR means disaster recovery. Suppose your production is there in this one location. If any disasters happen, uh, outage, power outage, or earthquakes, or anything happen in the data center, uh, any issues and it's crashed, and business is trying to access all the business users. But if it is not available, means business down, uh, business is lost, right? So end users cannot able to connect. Everything will be lost for the customer. For that, we need to enable the disaster recovery plan. Like if something happen in the primary site, we have to be like prepare one more site. If it is down, we need to make it up this as a primary. So this concept, we call it as a disaster recovery. Okay. In what we will do, we can like take a complete backup of this and we can copy it here and then we can 24 by 7 we can enable the archive shipping archives means current transactions of this production automatically those will store here plus here also so every time this both production and standby we call it as um, 
DR setup, this one. So if anything goes wrong, this standby one, if this is not a read write mode, it will be on mount or read only mode. Uh, so if anything happen here, we make it switch over or uh, the failover. We call it as a failover. And then once uh, it is sort out the issue, we can switch over back, switch back to the primary. So how we are going to do that? Okay, that is the concept completely. That as a DB, we must have aware how we need to perform these activities. Okay, and also every yearly or six months once we are planning DR activity, uh, original production, manually we are going to shut down. Manually we are going to shut down. And uh, what are all the connections or applications we are having? We have similar production in environment on other side that is standby or DR setup. This we will make it up and then we will uh, connect, make a connections of all the applications and integrations and we will do the normal testing. Uh, if all the function is working fine, then we again we will stop this and then we will bring up this production and we will do the normal. Why, what mean? Why? Because we need to do this DR. Uh, suppose if anything happen, as I said here, right? If production is not available suddenly, uh, then we, we should have similar environment in other location, another location. If you want to make in the same location, that is fine, but it is better to have in different, different locations. Okay, this we make it as a production. And also database upgrades and migrations. Okay, database upgrades means every, uh, like frequently, like one year, two years, or four years once, or at least uh, upgrading their uh, versions. Okay, 12C uh, earlier version, now in 19C, it's a long-term support. So if you want to upgrade your existing 12C databases to 19C, we should uh, know as a DBA how we need to do, what is our approach. Uh, we have, we must and should learn these things as well, how to upgrade, okay. And migration means if you want to migrate different database versions, like if it is having Postgres SQL DBA, if, you, if their customer wants to migrate their Postgres SQL to Oracle database, that is one kind of one. And also same Oracle database, if it is existing in Solaris operating system, if you want to migrate to Linux server, okay, this is Solaris server on top of this Oracle database is there. If customer wants to, uh, they need to migrate their uh, databases to Linux servers. So we, how we need to migrate that, that also as a DBA, we must know that. And database security, uh, we can uh, enable the DB vault and uh, other tools also there. We must learn how to provide the security, best security for database and also high availability. We have one more uh, important high availability thing is there. That is real application cluster like you have a database, okay, it is accessing a uh, normal uh, instance case. One instance is accessing one database. If this instance is failed, our applications are users unable to access this database. For that, Oracle has introduced real application cluster, RAC, from 9i version onwards. One database, multiple instances, we can make it. So users can connect from this instance, this instance, or this instance. They don't know from, from which instance they are trying to connect, but and I mean, uh, they, uh, they in, in motto is they try, they have to have access this database and get the information back. But as a DBA, we, we know this, we are only going to provide this high value, but if any instance has crashed, another two instances the user can able to access, that is called high availability and also if a uh, hundred users are there, they are trying to access with only single instance with a single database, right? That will be huge load and performance decrease. If you have a three instances, so hundred users, some 40 will access from here and uh, 30 from here, and remaining 30 from this instance. So performance also we can increase. So in this way, we have to plan uh, as per the customer requirements, high availability. So these are all the important roles and responsibilities as a DBA. Okay, we will learn uh, clearly. Uh, we'll try to make a individual video so we can perform user management, storage management, and the clone activities in in my YouTube channel. It's Rax Infotech. You can search at the rate Rax Infotech. You will get to know. If it is useful, try us. Then you can share with your friends and the. If you want to get regular updates and the. I think it's option is to subscribe. Okay, if 
anybody are trying to learn Varaki DBA, reach out to raxinfotech at gmail.com. We will support them and we will guide them. Raxinfotech at the right gmail.com. Okay. If you need any help on real time support or anything, we are ready to help it. Thank you so much.